Colchicine is an alkaloid derived from the dried seeds of the autumn crocus or meadow saffron, scientifically known as Colchicum autumnale. This medication has a long history of use in medicine and remains relevant today for managing specific inflammatory conditions. It is primarily prescribed for the treatment and prevention of gout flares, familial Mediterranean fever, and certain cardiovascular conditions. Additionally, it is used off-label for other inflammatory diseases like Basset disease and pericarditis. Mechanism of Action Colchicine exerts its therapeutic effects by disrupting microtubule assembly. It binds to tubulin, a protein essential for the formation of microtubules, thereby preventing their polymerization. This action interferes with several cellular processes, including cell division, intracellular trafficking, and the secretion of cytokines. In the context of inflammation, colchicine reduces the activation and migration of neutrophils. It also interferes with the inflammasome complex, leading to a decrease in the production of pro-inflammatory mediators such as interleukin-1 beta. Common brand names. Colchicine is available under several brand names. These include Colchris, Gloperba, Mitigare, and Lodoco. Each brand may have specific formulations or indications, but they all contain colchicine as the active ingredient. Indications for use. Colchicine is indicated for multiple conditions. For gout, it is used to treat and prevent gout flares in adults and adolescents older than 16 years. In familial Mediterranean fever, it is prescribed for both adults and children aged four years and older. For cardiovascular protection, the brand Lodoco is used to reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death in adults with established atherosclerotic disease or multiple cardiovascular risk factors. Off-label uses include Basset disease, pericarditis, and post-pericardiotomy syndrome. Dosage guidelines. For the treatment of acute gout flares, the recommended dose of Colchris is 1.2 mg at the first sign of a flare, followed by 0.6 mg one hour later. The maximum dose over one hour is 1.8 mg, and this regimen should not be repeated for at least three days. To prevent gout flares, the recommended dose of Colchris, Mitigare, or Gloperba is 0.6 mg once or twice daily, with a maximum daily dose of 1.2 mg. For familial Mediterranean fever, the dosage varies by age. Adults and children over 12 years are prescribed 1.2 to 2.4 mg per day. Children aged 6 to 12 years receive 0.9 to 1.8 mg per day, while children aged 4 to 6 years are given 0.3 to 1.8 mg per day. These doses are administered once or twice daily. For cardiovascular protection using Lodoco, the recommended dose is 0.5 mg daily. Precautions and Contraindications Healthcare providers should exercise caution when prescribing colchicine to patients with renal or hepatic impairment, as dosage adjustments may be necessary. Drug interactions should be carefully monitored, particularly with medications affecting P glycoprotein. Use during pregnancy and breastfeeding requires careful consideration of risks and benefits. Regular blood tests may be required to monitor for adverse effects. Colchicine is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to the drug. It should be used cautiously in cases of severe renal or hepatic impairment, with appropriate dosage adjustments. Its use during pregnancy and lactation should be limited to situations where the benefits outweigh the risks. Concurrent use with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors or P-glycoprotein inhibitors should be avoided due to the increased risk of toxicity. Side effects. Common side effects of colchicine include gastrointestinal disturbances such as diarrhea and nausea, muscle weakness, and fatigue. Serious side effects can occur, including severe gastrointestinal toxicity, bone marrow suppression, and neuromuscular toxicity. Healthcare providers should educate patients about these potential effects and advise them to seek medical attention if symptoms arise. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, 
feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.